My guest tonight is one of the youngest cast members in the history of SNL, and even lets me leash on enough to hang out in his dressing room during the show, so I had to make it up to him. My guy, Pete Davidson on the show. Yeah. Thanks, man. You're here. Yeah. yeah. Now, let's be honest. We kind of started off on a bad note. You only asked for something simple. You wanted a bacon, egg, and cheese. Oh, I thought you meant the fact that I said yes to this at all. <laughs> <laughs> no, because you ask like at like 2 in the morning at like, uh, as you're like, hey, you want to do my show? And I was like, yeah. And now it's here. Well, no, no. By the way, it's a step worse than that. You did. You randomly texted me the other day and was like, dude, how's next Wednesday? Yeah. I was like, sure. I was trying to be nice. And then this morning comes. Yeah. Well, I didn't sleep because I have a, a, another job. What do you uh, What do you do? Oh, I just I'm all, I stand in the background of this show uh, <laughs> called SNL. I'm the guy that like walks in and has one line and then just stands in the background for the rest of the show. But people uh, love you when you do that. Hey, man, I'm a one one word wonder. Uh, for sure. <laughs> show Show us what. Oh, so we asked so for bacon, like, egg, and cheese. Yeah. So I'm like I'm half asleep. I'm having a real rough morning. Uh, this guy's like, come do my new show. Everything's going great. I don't think it's going great because I asked for bacon, egg, and cheese. And these motherfuckers like, what <laughs> the fuck is this? What is that? You know what that is? This looks like, what, like your grandma slapped this shit together. This is from a store. Yeah. This is gross, man. This is embarrassing. That is what Joe this Budden was really... talking about when he left Complex. Oh. That is what. Oh. Too soon? It was a joke. Can Joe Budden shut the fuck up, by the way? <laughs> like, stop. Like, who are you? Stop talking. Uh, he, don't, that's you what, have one song that was in Mean Girls. Go fuck yourself. Okay. You fucking old tool bag. What is he going to do, write a diss about me? That's how much of a loser he is. He's like, yes, I can diss this comedian. You fucking tool bag. Um, uh, all right, I'll get you a different sandwich. Thanks. Um, Appreciate um, it. But, uh. So I saw you at the, you let me come up and hang out for the Donald Glover SNL. You can come anytime. And I appreciate that. Anytime. How was that? What did you think of that episode? Uh, it was sick, man. Donald Glover's sick. Uh, that, that song is fucking nuts. It's the best song of the year. So far. Yeah, to hang out, it came out, the video came out while we were in he your dressing room. He like uploaded it while he was on stage. <laughs> I, know. I was like, what a boss. Um, you've spoken some about the other Donald who did the show. Oh, yeah. Donald Trump. What? Take me through a little bit. I've never talked to you about that. What was the Donald Trump week like? I was just like, it was just like weird. It was just all like, what the fuck is this guy doing here? And like, the Secret Service really wasn't like being that secret. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, they weren't really like, they were watching him, but like, they weren't really watching him. If that makes sense. So you could just go if you really wanted. There to There were talk a to few him. times where he was just chilling in the hallway by himself. Wow. Yo, that's a crazy yeah. thing to even think about. And I'm just like, dude, you're running for, but he's just sitting there just like looking at shit and the pictures on the walls and stuff. He was like weird all week. He like faked a phone call during the table read. Whoa, 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 hold on. What do you, what do you mean? In the middle of the table read, he like, he has a flip phone and he just, and right as we started, he like, he was like, oh, hello. He goes, oh, fantastic. Okay, great. And then he hung up and he goes, hey, everybody, my book just went number one. <laughs> Yeah, and we were, I swear, I swear my life, and we were all like, yo, that phone didn't ring. And like, also, like, how did you, how did he have time to say that? Because you answered and went, yup, oh my God, that's, he, he didn't, he didn't even go, hello? Oh, wow, that's awesome, man. Like, that, he was just like, hello? Oh, that's great. Oh, great. My book went number one, everybody. And we were like, ugh. Have you uh, have you gotten any time this week? Season finale is this weekend. Oh yeah. Have, have you gotten any time with uh, Nicki Minaj yet? No, uh, I haven't seen her yet. Uh, but we're all thrilled. You don't know if she's in any sketches yet or anything. No, I don't know yet. Look at you, you fucking little fish. <laughs> what is she saying? Such man? a little fish. Give like me a he story. know like we're good friends, and he knows like how much trouble I can get in for like. What can any you give me? Little hair. Yeah, but so then I got to ask you something. People are asking about then since you brought it up. Yeah. Uh, Every time I've had you up, we've always talked about your relationship with Cassie David. Yes. What's the status? Oh, you fucking... Just dove right in. Yeah. Just diving right in. Yeah. Just going right, right in. Yeah. yeah, we're not together anymore. Okay. So no more. No more. So we don't have anything else to talk about with, related to Cassie. No, no. Oh, we had such good anecdotes in the past. No, a no, very talented girl. She'll be, she'll be great and she'll do fine. Yeah, I think she's going to be okay. Yeah, I think she'll be okay. You're going to be okay. Well, yeah, probably. And she's yeah. probably going to be yeah, fine. Yeah, she'll be fine. People know you went to rehab at some point, correct? 
I mean, I, yeah, I feel like I'm you're, always there. Yeah. yeah, you're very open about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But when I was with you the other day, you definitely seemed like you're comfortably drinking a little oh, bit. Oh, party's back on, Pete. Party's back on. Yeah, no, I- Party found, Pete's back. Yeah, I found out I had a mental disorder. I thought I had a drug problem. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a completely different thing. <laughs> you could well, be sad and do drugs at the same time, evidently. And did you and how did you discover that like in rehab? You're like, ah, oh, this isn't exactly no, my problem. No, I got cl like sober or whatever, and just didn't like for like three months, and I was just like never sadder, and everything was just way worse. And then I like t went to this other therapist and like did like this behavioral therapy shit, and they were like, oh yeah, there's something like off with your brain, and I was like, oh, and then I just rolled a joint, and I'm, I was back <laughs> immediately. Now, and and by the way, but you you do deal with like a shitload of anxiety, and the weed. Helps. It, it, it helps dramatically. I think you know <clears throat> they just opened a weed store uh, over here. I've seen you with a. This is the narkiest thing to say in history. But who gives a oh, shit? Yeah, yeah. Literally, I've been around rappers smoking weed for a long time. Mm -hmm. I've never seen a blunt that is the size of a legitimate full cigar, as if the cigar was never emptied full of weed. Oh wow! And it was very impressive. Thanks, Pete. And you take this to the head. <laughs> Hold on, but this is the part I'm interested in. It doesn't, that would, that would kill me. I'd be hiding under a couch if that happened. Right. This actually calms you. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, uh, well, I also have Crohn's, so I've been, like, stoned for, like, eight, nine years. So it and it helps a lot with the Crohn's. Yeah, it helps me eat and stuff and not be in pain. And you took one hit and you were fucking... I have no comment, I did not Ricardo. Dude, I, 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 I <laughs> we were, everybody was having fun in the dressing room, and I was like, I'll be right back, I have to go, like... Do a skit? Do a skit, yeah. And I came back, and Peach just saw the couch like this, he's like... <sighs> <laughs> I asked that boy, I was like, hey, what's up with Pete? He's like, oh, he took a hit at your trippy stick. <laughs> I, was like, I was just focused on the show, bro. Yeah. Um, every time we have a special guest on the show, like a great Pete Davidson, we like to dig through a crate of records. That's mm. what old fucks do. This is called Digging in the Cave. <laughs> yes, as a DJ, it is my obligation to uh, push this vinyl thing forward. So I'm going to... Grab some records. You tell me if the records have any significance to you and what that significance is or is not. Thanks. Great. You will probably make fun of the significance. Cool. Oh, the fact that you have records. Uh, well. What are your thoughts on this guy? Talented fella. Real talented guy. Uh, likes a little Jesus a little too much for my taste. <laughs> this is Justin uh, Bieber. Yeah, yeah. He likes Jesus to the point now where there's like nothing behind his eyes when he talks. <laughs> you know? <laughs> But no, one of the most talented uh, uh, people, I think, of our generation, for sure. You also did his roast, too. I did. Pretty big, which actually was a pretty big moment for you. Yeah, you know, a lot of people I owe Scooter Braun for about 75% of my career, for what, sure. Because that moment was yeah, big, that he, big? Yeah, he hooked it up. Scooter Braun's the fucking man. And it ended up being, like, I know you said some shit that people thought was controversial, but it ended up being a big positive, right? No, yeah, it, it ended up really working out, and it was really... I love doing the roast stuff. That shit is the best. It's right up your, I mean, you <laughs> naturally roast. There's just nothing better than shitting on people. All right, this one. Uh, is what else is in your big old box of records? <laughs> one you're not going to talk shit about. Hey, best album of all time. This is this is it for you. Hundred huh? percent in hip hop, and I think in music. Uh, Kid Cudi. Period. I think that's the best album of all time. Why, sure. why is this one so personally meaningful to you, though? Uh, it's just like that came out when I was, let's see, was that 09? So junior year of high school, which is just like, I think the shittiest time for any young man. Yeah, and, you, and you'd been through a lot of shit. Like, yeah, and also like, just like never, you know, very few artists like open their doors up to their world where it's just so personal where you feel like you know them and shit. And that was like, that was crazy. Like, that, that, you could still play that album top to back, like the whole, like. What is it though that kids who are, sort of depressive naturally, mm -hmm. like gravitate, gravitate towards so much about that record. It was the first time like where I like listened to the story of an album or like, you know, listened to something top to bottom. Like it was, it was just, yeah, it was that it's a revolutionary album. Yeah, Kid Cudi, Man on the Moon. And I feel like he doesn't really get like the respect like- he On this deserves. show he does, don't worry. That yeah. album, like for some reason, the people we've talked to, uh, Rocky, Yachty, like there's yeah, certain people. All just, these fucking dudes are, that are coming out now are all have his influence for sure. Um, all right, and this one, of course, had to be done. Now this right here. Yeah. Oh wow, Wu Tang forever. No, enter the uh, enter the Wu Tang Thirty Six Chambers. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you're from Staten Island. It's a yes. part of like who you are as a person. Unfortunately, yes. But do you love this album? This one, yeah, it's a fucking fantastic album. Are they the main thing you're proud of about Staten Island? They're de they are Staten Island. That's what Staten Island is, you know. So that's all we have. 
And wait, did you, I was told by, I, <laughs> wait, it's you? like them and like Vinny from like the Jersey Shore. <laughs> <laughs> now my crack research staff told me that you got a Wu-Tang tattoo. Yeah. Where is this? This is good, up here. This is the- Oh, it's just a little baby one it's shining the, up like yeah, that. Yeah, it's the Verrazano Bridge, and then the Wu-Tang Clan has like the Batman symbol. Dude, that's pretty sweet. Thank you. Mushrooms is a fun thing to do. <laughs> By Dude, way, what if I was on the Verrazano Bridge? And you know, Batman, what if there was a Wu-Tang symbol? <laughs> and luckily, I have friends that are also high, and they're like, sick. <laughs> That's how that happens. Last thing about Staten Island. Your mom was on the Mother's Day SNL. Was it fun having a little thing with your mom? No! It was a nightmare. Why? It's always a nightmare when the moms come, because, like, you know, it's, we don't want them there. Uh, it's like any situation when yeah, your parents you are forced to be there. Yeah, you don't want your mom at work. And also, it's just like we were just, it's so sad to watch them with a script in the corner like, hello, Pete. <laughs> hello, Pete. And I'm just like, oh, this fucking like, I have to like explain to my mom, like, she was like, how do I say this? And I was just like, just talk to me like you're, uh, you know, talk to me like you're in the kitchen. And she's like, oh, like regular. And, and you're like, like, that's not. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, how are you reading it? And she was like, hello, Pete. And I was like, ah, oh, fuck. All right, ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for my guy, Pete Davis. That's how, <laughs> that's how you end shows? This is the interview. This is how we end the interview. That's how you end a show? Well, watch. Check out the video. You finale. are out of your fucking mind. Watch this. All right, that's it. <laughs> you fuck. What? Are you hold serious? On, hold on. I got more. I got more. Wow. Check out the finale of SNL with Tina Fey and Nicki Minaj this Saturday night. And of course, Pete Davidson from Staten Island. This is Open Late. Hey, thank you guys so much for watching. Open Late is always open on Complex's YouTube channel, and so are all these amazing shows. Check them out.